Hey, I heard you're visiting from Europe. Would you like to do a full self-driving test? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, let's do it. I would love to get your first impressions, especially because right. you've never experienced it before. Sure, let's see. Let's do it. What's up, everyone? So uh, we have some amazing friends, actually from Enhanced Auto Sexy Buttons, and they are visiting uh, for the Tesla takeover. This is their first time in FSD Beta 11.4.4. And um, so again, it's on, um, but in Bulgaria, where they're from, they don't have uh, full self-driving. So um, I would love uh, to get your perspective as you're seeing stuff, right? I mean, yeah, you can true. see the people here, literally two people there, mm -hmm. run over there. Obviously we'll see what you know type of situations, but as you can see, um, I'm still kind of keeping my hands close in case something happens, but yeah. you know, the car is fully driving itself. Like even my feet That's are not touching the accelerator. Yeah. Even it's the downtown, right? Yeah, exactly. So the reason I came through here is because, you know, hopefully we can maybe see a pedestrian try to come, yeah. come across, but you know, obviously it kind of just depends. Is it too cautious around people or? Uh, less so now in the early days, yeah. Um, you know, but it, it handles for the most part just really well around around people. Like all the stuff about it not doing well uh, with people or even kids is a complete lie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we all know the the yeah. wire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So here in this situation, I'm not sure if it's like Can I be stopping because yeah, of the, the people over there. The signal. Yeah. So here, see, it kind of even slowed down. Wasn't sure. Um, See, I'm gonna navigate to this. So here, look, there's a car right there. Yeah. Slow down. So here, it's like, kind of, it'll do things like that, yeah. you know, because um, that sign. So it's trying to probably just go around it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna let this go. Uh, yeah, exactly. So here it's like even signaling. But what what do you yeah. have in Bulgaria? <laughs> That's great. What? So uh, yeah, we have the auto steer and uh, navigate on autopilot for. Okay, so for you to even, what did you think about seeing that left turn right there? Yeah, it was great, man. I, I mean, it was very fluid. fluid yeah. See, she's not coming out, but in the past it would slow down uh -huh. here. Even this person, it's probably going to go a little bit more to the left. The left I can see tell you, in Bulgaria, the, the worst part is when there is a construction on the road. Mm. And when I see this, even on the highway, I always just turn it off. Yeah. But again, it's not FSD. Wow, I, I believe now it's better. So it's for the stop sign, right? I didn't even see her. And she's not going, She that was an illegal walk. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't just look for... It's using the vision, not... The, the you know the street map yeah. right it's like even here see it's gonna go out it sees that sign it's gonna yeah. kind of dodge it that's great so you know I assume you, you've seen videos of this is this kind sure. of like what you expected <laughs> do you feel like there's been lies you've been told or <laughs> is this better than you expected Worse than Actually, we, we are always watching all the videos from the FSD. Yeah. Uh, so I, I know what to expect, but getting it in person and seeing all the things, it's, it's really impressive. Yeah. Sorry if it's hot back there. I realized the AC wasn't on. <laughs> yeah. Was it hot back there? A little bit. I'm sweating. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Is there a limit for how long you can use the FSD? No. That's crazy. I could... I did a drive uh, from here to San Diego, uh -huh. and the only time I interrupted it was to charge, uh -huh. you know? Yep. But I drove like 400 miles. That's so here I'm making a ride, let that car go first, yeah. and then... It counts the car, right? The cars? Yeah, yeah I can see all the cars. Yeah, that's oh. nice. That was really smooth. That was really smooth. Picking another location. That's gonna be something 
interesting to see how they're gonna implement this in Europe if they ever do it. Yeah. Because right now, on this stop sign, in Europe, we were the one that was supposed to turn first. But the car mm. let this person to go because you have different laws. Yeah, the laws are lot different, so. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so in the US, uh, everyone that's on your right-hand side has the right-of-way. So if you come and um, if you stop at a stop sign at the same time, so even here, it's you know it's gonna make a left, going a little, it even went a little bit further out and then it's trying to yeah, have but it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so here, if you arrive at the same time, uh, the person on the right has the the right of way, uh, versus maybe in Europe it's the person on the left. No, it's on the right. Okay. It's on the right. Yeah, it, it, it's on okay. the right. But here you have like the law where the first person that stops, he has the right to go first, right? Yes. Yeah. But if they come at the same time, typically, if it's the exact same time, you typically let the person on the right oh, go. Okay. That's why we don't give five problems. <laughs> So here, like, I literally can't okay. see out yeah. there, and it's Keep slowly on going. Okay. Yeah. We go so it's gonna it's gonna be probably wait. overly cautious. Okay. Um, and let these guys go and then go. Yeah, but they still have uh, room. To yeah. Go, yeah. Um, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, so that's smooth actually. I didn't yeah. expect to be that smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Um, like I said, I, I, I really feel like uh, like mountainous roads are actually like what it really excels in and like uh -huh. navigating through really like tight spots. Yeah. Um, it actually does like really well. What about when there are cyclists on the road? It, 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 it will handle them kind of like a sign, right? It'll try to go around them and make sure that it obviously it doesn't go into the other lane. Um, but anything that jumps out at it, um, it'll do well. Now where it can become hard is let's say I'm on like a one lane road or, you know, all right, so it's gonna make it right here. It's giving me the knack, even though I touched it. So, um, yeah, so if let's say I'm on like a road like this and there's cars coming this way, but then the bike is, let's say, in, like, like even right here, it may not go around it because it's trying to be overly cautious. Yeah. So there's some of those times where I'll have to, like, you know, take over and then go around. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, as long as the biker is in their lane, it doesn't have a problem at all. Yeah. You know? So let's just go try this. And as far as I know, now it stops uh, completely on the mm -hmm. stop yes. sign? Yes. Previously it was not like this, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> So here it's even going around them. Yeah. And it can go even uh, on the other lane a little bit sometimes? Yes, so yeah. even in the, you, it like, you know, as long as it's safe, that's why it yeah, can yeah. kind of go over and stuff. But that's why it's looking at what's ahead of it, right? Yeah. Now you guys have seen this, I mean, it's like, you know, 30 miles and it's handling it pretty confidently. It's right? very good. Yeah. So here Is it it's like the, the holes. Uh, it can, but mainly speed bumps. Uh -huh. So big potholes, like it might be able to see it, but you know, <laughs> if you think it's a big pothole, it's probably best not to. Yeah. To to test it, because <laughs> then you, especially if you have nice rims. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but as you saw a little bit back there. Um, the good and bad of some of the stuff is that, you know, it will try to always be in the middle. Yeah. So even in, you know, as it was making kind of that left turn, you know, you could make a right turn and even go straight. It kind of was like maybe a little bit out to the right, yeah. but there's also over time been a lot of improvements on that where it's not always just trying to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, but the road is really curvy here, so... Yeah, ex exactly. But actually, I'm impressed because here you can see there are a lot of shadows of the trees. Yes. So, but it doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't phase it. it doesn't phase In it. the past, yeah. though, early on, it did. There was, like, things okay. that would... You know, you might get some of that phantom braking. Yeah. Have you experienced but something here. like this soon? Huh? Have you experienced something like this recently? No. 
like, I mean, you're also, um, I, I told you a little bit, I've been driving this almost for three years, starting yeah. in October. That'll be three years. And I've just gotten, like, like where I can have a full one conversation with you and kind of look over and, you know, talk and make some, you know, have um, engagement. So even here, it's going to make a left. Let's see who's there, and then it's going to go. It's moved. I just picked a random look, random location. <laughs> yeah. But as you can see, the the homes up here get really big. Um, it's gonna go so here in this case, it just you know didn't see out, so it slowed down. Cautious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there was no stop sign there, so probably yeah. didn't need to do that. But um, whereas I just would have gone through and made it right. But not right. the big deal, I mean. Yeah, exactly. So I'm probably gonna kill it here and then turn turn us back around. Okay. This is, uh, Clearly, it looks like it's a dead end, anyways. It's a pretty area. Yeah, yeah. Can it turn around actually? Um, it can't. It can, it it's done a U turn a couple of times. Uh huh. It for the most part, it says, "Hey, take over." I you know, I can't handle this. Yeah. I have been in the car where it has done a like a U turn before. Mm -hmm. So, um, but typically that's at like a stoplight. So if yeah. there was like a dead end there, it's not not gonna necessarily do it. But um, I'm gonna take you the next stop. I want to take you to a round, what we call. I mean, I know this is not Europe, but uh, what we call roundabouts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so uh, the roundabouts in Europe with the uh, yolk are a nightmare. You know. Yeah, exactly. That's the. But yeah, so what do you, what are your thoughts? I mean, you've been sitting in this drive, what, for 10 yeah, minutes actually, now? What, really like, what are your... I'm impressed because uh, uh, one thing is to, to watch videos in YouTube, you know, where the other thing is to experience this and just to see how good it is. It actually is very good. Yeah. I didn't expect so, so good. Yeah. Because I only have experience, uh, as I told you, with, uh, with FSD. Bulgaria, which is yeah, not that great. Exactly. So here, the great thing about this, even right, is that it knows that this is one lane road out, yeah. one lane road in. Uh -huh. So, um, so here we're going to be making another another right. See, again, I can't even fully clearly see around there. Yeah. And it's able to see sometimes around corners that I can't even see. Mm -hmm. Imagine one day on the road, every car drives like this. That's that's truly going to be safer than yeah. what the current situation is. Exactly. Yeah, because, well, I think, again, always the hard part is just, I mean, I guess the, the, the reality is, is you need to... Like, because there's still places that, or things that I have to go do where I need to get there fast. Like, when I was coming to see you guys, I, yeah. like, was running a little bit late. And so I'll take over and just drive myself. So there's got to be that balance somehow of, like, being able to, or, you know, you, or you just have to become a better planner. Especially if you were just to drive, like, fully autonomous vehicles in general. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, if everyone is utilizing, you know, a similar software... Um, where it's just gonna kind of slow things down, you know, and there's like a standardized law of like, you know, you go the speed limit or a little bit in excess and, you know, I think that will be obviously the key to just making everyone safer. Because yeah. the thing is too, is like, what you're never gonna know is how many lives were saved from full self driving, right? Because no one's gonna talk to you about the lives that have been saved or like the biker that it avoided. This was a three-way stop, right? Uh, so there was yeah. like... I didn't even see what's going on. Right yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. Right? It's super impressive. Yeah. What do Tesla say is about when it's going to be official already here in the US? Two years, you know? Yeah, or uh, at the end of the year, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right per the Elon. <laughs> um, it's Elon time. Elon yeah, time. I honestly, it's just like... 
like I don't know when it's gonna get to level four is like I think the big target um, in a lot of cases like especially like even now right it, you know obviously I'm giving input because of the, the nag and everything else but it's pretty much like it doesn't need any human input right I'm just kind of here um, but you know for them to get to this where it's like everyone is fine I don't it's just I still, I still feel like, um, especially because I've been driving this for three years, yeah. the rate of improvement is huge. Uh, but it's still just like one of those things. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna take a minute. Do they still do the safety score? Or no, it's not. Not anymore. Yeah, that's not. It's only for the insurance, right? Or yeah, exactly. Yeah. So in this case. It may, like, I probably would go, so I can even potentially, in this case, like, press on the accelerator to go a little bit, right? To kind of give it the nudge. And clearly, obviously, there's cars and other yeah. stuff coming. Um, I don't know if it would have been able to handle, like, no right turn on, yeah. on red from 7 to 9 in the mornings. At some like, point, probably, isn't it? So in those, in that case, like I gave it, uh, you know, it wasn't a disengagement, it was uh, an input, yeah. but you know, I also didn't want to sit there for another minute, right? Just like wait for the thing to turn green. Yeah, sure. You know? you know, the thing is, is like, obviously I don't know, I've never driven in Bulgaria, I don't, I don't know what the roads are like, but if they're somewhat similar, you know, to the US, it can, it can happen, it's just the regulars, man. Here in your area, there are a little bit smaller maybe from the rest of the US. I mean, they're a little bit closer to our roads, because our roads are smaller. Yeah. But, yeah. There's so many Teslas here in California, it's insane. Yeah, I call it a Tesla parking lot. Or the, or the Tesla factory. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, and now, I mean, especially now with the Model Y, I mean, you know, all of the people that were buying the S and the Y, um, you know, those were all kind of like more of like, you know, higher income and everything else, right? The ones that obviously paved the way for the three and the Y. But now it's like with the, the, the three and the Y, it's like, it's becoming the new Toyota Corolla, which is like the best, it has been the best selling car in the United States for the longest time. Yeah. And it's half the price yeah. of the Model Y. So you have a car that is selling is 2x the price, but it's the best selling car in the United States, which is the Model Y. Crazy. And that's the thing, right? It's, um, you know, that people will pay for a better product, right? Yeah, um, sure. It's just what, it's like, it's like when the iPhone came out, no one had seen those type of prices for, for a phone. <laughs> you know, it was like a thousand dollars, 700 bucks. No one was like crazy, right? Yeah. But, um, people are, you know, gonna be willing to pay extra for, for a new car. That's, that's the future, that's safe, that's built well. Yeah, so let's... Any other final thoughts for a... Any other final thoughts yeah. on your first drive? It's great, I think. As I told you, I, I want to try this uh, home, but yeah. it's very good. Cool. It's smooth. I, I didn't expect to be so smooth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, cool. It's cool seeing the reality come, you know, it's not just a YouTube video, but coming, yeah, it's, it's becoming a reality. It's right? very different to, to experience, experience it yep. directly. So. Well, like awesome. It. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks for your time today.